Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. Hey, today we're going to be combining double digit numbers. They're going to be just any double digit number, like 37 and 17 or 64 and 98. We're going to have it get progressively harder through the lesson. Try this again. Hi, mathematicians. Today we're going to be working on combining any two digit numbers. By now you should have mastered your large doubles, decade doubles, and you know, and make a 10 and more, or um, combinations through 20. You really should have a good foundation for this. Let's move on. First we're going to start with something relatively easy, and we're going to do this 24 plus 23, and we're going to do what they call breaking it apart. And how do we break this apart? Well, let's take a look at what we have here. <clears throat> we have, you know, 24, which is four ones and two tens, plus 23, which is two tens and three ones. Let's see what we can do. So to break it apart, let's get these ones out of the way. So four plus three, and you should already know what that is. Four plus three, count on from four, five, six, seven. So we have seven. So over here we have this two tens and two tens. So we have 20 plus 20. Whoa! What does that look like? This 20 and 20, those are your, your decade doubles. So that's 20 plus 20. 20 plus 20, or think back, 2 and 2 make 4. So we have how many tens? We have four tens. So we have 40 here, that's four tens. So seven plus four, zero, or 40, is going to be equal to 47. You see how we're able to extend that learning for these decade doubles and <clears throat> breaking it apart and such. So there you go. So we have seven plus 40 is equal to 47. Let's move on. Something similar, uh, 39 plus 36, you're like, hey, I can break it apart and make it there. But remember, I want you to do it your way. I'm just showing you some uh, methods for, for trying to figure it out. You, know, I want, you don't need to do it many different ways. Do it your way, but this is one way that you can verify what you've done. So let's take a look at this. So let's do, let's do a number line. You know, I like that. I like number lines. Let's do arrow there. Arrow. <clears throat> We're going to start at 39. Okay, see what I did there? So we started at 39. Now let's take a look what we have here. So this is actually 30 plus 6, or we can say it's 310. So we can say 39, and let's do a 10 hop plus 10. That's one of those 10s. Do another 10 hop. That's going to be another plus 10. Because remember, we have three of those. Another one. And that's going to be plus 10. So we have 39 plus 10 is 49. 49 plus 10 is 59. 59 plus 10 is 69. But wait, there's more. We have these six ones right here. So let's. We can do it all at once at six, but let's do it one, one at a time. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. So those are all plus ones. <clears throat> so let's count on from 69. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So there we go. So the answer is 75. Just another way to show your work. And to help you figure it out, you don't have to do it all in your head. Put it on the paper and do your work. Let's take a look at the next strategy. We're going to do vertical addition. <clears throat> but wait, it's not vertical. We have 47 plus 68. That's the same as 47 plus 68. But we're not doing the standard algorithm first. We're going to do vertical addition. So if you recall, we have, so again, we have these ones here. So it's seven and eight ones. We could say, well, wait a minute. It's close to either um, 
you know, the, your, your doubles with seven or your doubles with eight. Choose the one that works best for you. I'm going to go with sevens because I know that seven and seven make 14, and then I have another one here, so that's going to be 15. So there we go. So we have <clears throat> five ones. Oh, look at that. That's a 10. Whoa, what's up with that? Well, uh, we have it lined up here. We have our ones lined up. We have our tens lined up. So now we're working with the tens. Since we're working with the tens, we can put a zero here in the ones column because we're not, we don't have anything else over here. We've already added those up. So six plus four, or it's, we can add, take one away from here and make it five, and that's five. So let's do that. Let's, let's do that. Let's make this five. So we, we subtracted one from six, and we added it up here, so that made five. Look at that. We have five and five. Another double. That's a small double still. So five and five make ten. So I can put this down here, because in that zero goes here. Notice how I lined everything up. Come over here, and I have five. I have one. So 47 plus 68 is 115. You see how I did that? I broke it apart, I put it back together, and got the answer. Next up, we have the standard algorithm. Okay, this is something where, you know, you memorize it, you go through. Some of you may have parents that have taught you this. That's okay, or a teacher. Um, use the method to add these two-digit numbers, these large two-digit numbers together that you want to use. You know, use your strategy to get your answer. So if we're doing it the standard algorithms of seven and six, okay, so we know that six and six, which is starting to get into those large doubles, is twelve, and we have one more with that seven, so that's thirteen. What we do again is that thirteen, there's three ones and one tens. So we're going to put that one right here in the tens column, okay? <clears throat> so we can add a number here, we can add it down there. Um, personally, I like to say, well, wait a minute, it's the easiest thing. So I can add one to here, so that's nine. That's almost ten, right? So let's call it ten. Let's just call it ten for right now. Plus four is fourteen, but since we added one, we can have to take one away. So 14 minus 1 is 13. So you see how we came up with that? Again, I want you to use your method, your notation, your strategy to come up with your answer. Thank you for watching Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. Remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Like, share, and comment then subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches. Up next, you're going to be combining large numbers. It'll be like 1,247 plus 333 or 597 plus 998. See you next video.